How do you handle fear? How should you handle fear? When you've got no reason at all to have anxiety and fear, or many reasons to be anxious and fearful, how do you handle that? How should we handle that? I'm reminded of Paul's second letter to Timothy in chapter 1, verse 7, where he said, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and love and a sound mind. Chaplain Jason Owen here, pastor at Camp Courtney Chapel. In 2006 and 7, I had the privilege of participating in a number of medevacs in and out of Kuwait and southern Iraq. I was a search and rescue corpsman. We had launched two helicopters at a time. The skies were very dark clear but dark but as we got further into Iraq it got cloudy and darker. I remember at one point we couldn't see the other helicopter that we were partnered with even though we had night vision goggles because it was just so cloudy. And at one point the pilot at the controls experienced vertigo. That thing inside where a person feels like they're spinning or heading in a certain direction and yet in reality something else is happening. Or maybe if you've parked in a car and you're stopped at a stoplight and the car next to you starts drifting back and forth and you feel like maybe you're moving as well. Well, as that pilot was trained to do, they passed the controls to the other pilot who took control, but then they experienced vertigo. You know what they did that night? They did as they were trained to do. They looked at the gauges. If they were to look out, they would see how black and how dark it was, how foggy it was. If they had leaned on how they felt inside, we would have plummeted, no doubt, to our deaths and maybe killed a lot of other people in the meantime. They fixed themselves. They saved our lives that night. And there I was sitting on a big medical box in the back of the helicopter looking forward towards the cockpit. And I experienced vertigo just seconds after they had corrected themselves and I said, hey guys, we're going down and left. We're going down and left. And they said, no, no doc, chief, we're good to go. We're straight and level. We're all right. Look at the gauges. I want to encourage you today, look at the gauges. If you're looking outside and it seems dark, if your future seems foggy, if the insides, if your insides are just spinning, go back to the gauges. They're not going to lie to you. Center yourself on God's word. He says, that he has not given us a spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and of love and a sound mind. This is a promise worth living by.